Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnegie Stuff. Or today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic fallacies, looking at the existential fallacy for Aristotle. If you haven't checked out my videos comparing Boole and Aristotle, as well as the existential fallacy for Boole, I would strongly suggest you check those out now. All right, so for Aristotle, if we take the argument all horses are mammals and want to conclude some horses are mammals, we are allowed to do this. For Aristotle, this is actually not fallacious. It's a problem for Boole, but it's not a problem for Aristotle because for Aristotle, we're allowed to assume the existence of the subject, but only if the subject exists. Because if we took the statement all unicorns are mammals and wanted to conclude that some unicorns are mammals, this would be fallacious for Aristotle and it would commit the Aristotelian existential fallacy. Why? Because we are assuming the existence of something, namely a unicorn, that does not exist. Similarly, we can go from no fish are razor blades to some fish are not razor blades, assuming the existence of fish. This is not going to be fallacious for Aristotle, though it will be for Boole, but we cannot go from no Loch Ness monsters are razor blades to some Loch Ness monsters are not razor blades. Why? Because there is no Loch Ness monster to exist, so we are not allowed to infer the particular from this. It is fallacious. It commits the Aristotelian existential fallacy. That was existential fallacy for Aristotle. Also today is the type token distinction. Yesterday was existential fallacy for Boole, as well as aversion. Tomorrow's going to be illicit contrary and contrary. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadius.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.